Control Gardens and in Group 4. Right then. Right, Dragon Trail Gardens, Group 4. Four laps of the racing hard tyres. Weeping first corner to get round. The brakes here for the chicane. Just guide the car through on the way out there. Just like that. On the back of the Ferrari now coming down the hill towards the hairpin. Let's see what happens. Ferrari goes defensive there, just keep it clean for now. Get ourselves around this hairpin. Through this technical middle sector now. Just follow the guys through this one, especially on the first lap. Then to the final corner. A little bit late there turning into the final corner. I'm just going to allow us to cut across there, hit the apex, and then just drive out. Lap two. And we are tucked in here behind the Ferrari. Can it slow down for the chicane? Ferrari on the defensive there by the look of it, turning into the chicane. Oh, just get that sausage curve there on the way out. We're all right. What looks like a Bugatti behind us there, coming down the hill towards the hairpin. Going up the inside, and that is... Well, that is not a Bugatti, is it? the Ferrari there going past us there. We dropped down a couple of places, but still all to play for. Don't really know why I thought P6 was in a Bugatti. Try to just tuck in behind here for this sector here. Quite tricky, this sector. Just sort of guide the car through. Get yourself onto this back straight. Down a couple of places, but still very much in the fight here. All day on the brakes there as we get into this corner. Better turning on this occasion. And then nicely out and onto the start finish straight. Go with these two Ferraris now for the start of the third lap and see where we get to. Three Ferraris just ahead of us there. Looks like they're all bunched up together. Again, just navigate your way through the chicane like that. Try to avoid the sausage curves if you can. Oh, just clips it a bit there. Down this hill here towards the hairpin. Lovely flow to this track. I've always been a fan of Dragon Trail Gardens. Really enjoy driving here. The hairpin, there's some side by side action taking place. Oh, just got a bit there coming out the hairpin, but never mind. Ferrari's wheel to wheel just ahead of us there. A bit of door banging going on. P8 just hanging on there. Or rather, P6 just hanging on there by the look of it in the Ferrari that I thought was a Bugatti, but well, there you go. Making gains on the Ferrari there as we come up towards the final corner. Up the inside, get it slowed down, get it turned in. Check your mirrors, check your quarters, job done. Well, the exit though could have been a bit better there. That's compromised us and back through he goes at the start of the final lap. Ferrari contact just in front of us there going around the first corner. Down the hill. Ferrari's side by side again. And that one's going to be going all the way to the end. Get ourselves a much better turn there through the hairpin corner here is trying not to take too much of the apex as you turn out but you can still take quite a bit of speed there and just tentative here through this section just follow each corner one after the other looks like ferrari's ahead of settled down now into their final finishing order but you never know still two corners to go just get it around this final corner and drive to the line Ah, not so bad. Right, let's see if we can get our time down a little bit then. To help us move up the grid, isn't it? We 
forget. See what transpires on this one then as we go through the first corner. Good clean start, what we like to see. All bit of contact there behind us. A bit of a coming together there of sorts. A couple there just ahead of P8 there going wheel to wheel by the look of it. I stick with these guys now if we can and just uh, see what happens. R8 versus Mr. Sylvia into the final corner. A bit late there on the brakes again. Oh, it's kind of quite good turning there, but we just about managed it. Bit of a run ahead perhaps on the Sylvia as we start the second lap. Oh, comes across there. Oh, just on the brakes a bit. One of these guys now, as I say, down here. The brakes again, puts on the floor with that one. Bit of a contact there, nothing too bad. It's the gear shift there coming out there, and so the uh, there's a bit of time for that, but not to worry. Well, I saw the brakes a bit early for that corner as well. The P10 on the back of us now, bit of a clumsy middle sector there. It's going to be a move here into the final corner. Looks as though having a look. A bit of a bump there from behind as we get around the final corner. And Ferrari is in tow coming up towards the first corner. Just going to tuck him behind. Let's get ourselves round. Going to be a move here, I think, of the inside. Let's take a look. Of the inside is finishing. Oh, they're going to go for it. Oh, they are now. It's going to try. Oh, try a little bit there. Get yourself round. Yeah. There you go. Oh, late right there on the brakes. Get it, get it in. Just about. stick with P9 through this middle section and seeing quite a few cars are gathering up behind us there as one of the guys ahead's gone off. Bit of an altercation there perhaps. Right, so with the beat ball, try and get yourself turned in. I've gone down to first gear there for some reason, I don't really know why. Coming on to the final lap. In position in P9. Let's just focus on staying in P9. All the Ferrari there going off in front of us. A bit of a moment there. Keep on having a look down my inside. And the hill towards the hairpin. Are we going to see a possible move here from the car behind? We are. Oh, late there. It's going to allow us just to put back there to take the place back. Good little battle this up the inside trying to just sort of try be a bit courteous there just try and leave the space for these guys but they're making their moves all right muscling his way past i think this guy's going to follow through as well well he's there it's going to come down to the final corner let's have a look at this one oh late right on the brakes oh he's covered it there just gonna check our mirrors for the car behind Run it to the line. He's done it. Good job. Yeah, so far, so good with this one. It's definitely a good daily race, this one. Uh, enjoying it so far. Really enjoying it. Doesn't seem as though there's only one car for this one either. Our mix, haven't we? We've got, what we got? Toyotas, Vipers, Jags, Ferraris. I'm in the Subaru WRX which is a pretty decent car. But in today, tributes to Conor McRae with the 1995 Subaru WRC livery. An iconic livery from an iconic car of the 1990s. But yeah, quite like the races where there's quite a few different cars in the class that are actually 
competitive on the track. It's really good. A mixed match car. You can use one car for one race and then use another car for another race. Yeah, not so bad. Right, it's going in this one from P11. Right, let's go. And the procedures in turn one. Ooh, a couple off there. And the spinner. Let's just get a bit of a bump there. Just trying to keep an eye on P10 as they rejoin, get themselves back into the action. Just navigate the chicane. Oh, P10 jumping over the sausage curves a bit there. A bit of goings on then in this one at the start on the first lap. I think we've got three wide. Or did have three wide momentarily behind us. It's there for then. Around then. Around this first lap. A bit of a tricky corner this. Just go for the safe from one apex to the other. Get yourself round. Racing hard tyres in this daily race, so yeah, racing hard tyres. It's not so bad. Oh, a late lunge there from behind in the Red Bull Ferrari, but they've got the job done. That was a very late one there, as we got down another place, courtesy of the McLaren there. I think we might be up here for losing another place to what looked like the Hurricane. Just backed out a bit there by a little bit as we get into the first corner, but they're going to quite possibly get the drive into the chicane. Just work for the chicane, just keep an eye out there for the hurricane behind us. Late lunge there, wasn't it, from P12. At the end of the first lap there, just caught me a bit off guard there. It's the hairpin overtaking in front of us. It's going to just get ourselves around. Looks like the Hurricanes have got back a bit now, which is good for us. There's definitely a group in front that together. We'll just see what unfolds with that one. Up the corners. There's definitely something there. We're cracking onto these guys. Oh, Ferrari there. Red Bull Ferrari. Just going a bit wide there. Out the final corner. It's going to give us a bit of a run at the start of the third lap to get ourselves back into P12. Just getting the inside going through the first corner. Red Bull Ferrari has gone wide and spun out. 9 0.5. A couple of them there. It's got over the sausage curves a bit in that chicane. The hairpin. You can see some plates has been exchanged. It's been 10 with the penalty now. It's going a bit wide. Bull Ferrari there just going off and then rejoining. Bit of wheel to wheel. Getting my cars massively mixed up today. That's a McLaren, isn't it? That's, that's not a Ferrari. Oh dear. Oh dear. Well, we'll just sort of try and. Oh, maybe not there on the McLaren. Penalty. And McLaren to the right hand side into the final corner. Just getting the brakes, getting turned in. That puts us back into ninth position. This final corner, all oh, a bit of a bit there with the McLaren. Start of the final lap, the other McLaren there with the penalty has gone through. A little bit late down to the first quarter. The inside into the chicane at the start of this final lap. Bit of a flip there with the sausage curves. Just keep it clean as we come out. A really good turn in here on the hair, then short shift there back into second for the exit try and maintain pace through this section. Really got then to the last couple of corners. He's going for it. Is there a... No, there's no gap there. Oh, he's going to go for a cutback. Oh, he is. Bit of contact. Can we just sort of try and nip through the middle? Oh, they've shut the door. Good race this, enjoying it. Lots of good Group 4 action, lots of different cars, a nice track. Yeah, it's a really good one this.